hey guys welcome back so to start off this blue glam look i have my bare face right in front of you i already have my brows done but i'll write down what i used in the info box and i'm just using this um, urban decay quick fix priming setting spray and spritz that all over my face um, and then i'm going in with my tarte shape tape concealer in tan sand and just blending this on my eyelids to act like a nice base and clear canvas for my eyeshadow to go onto and then I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and this banana shade right here. I'm just going to use that to set the concealer in place. And now I'm grabbing my Jaclyn Hill Palette by Morphe Brushes and I'm using this shade right here as my transition colour. And I'm just going to blend this into my um, crease and the outer V corner of my eye as well. And I'm going in with this darker warm chestnut brown I would call it. And I'm just deepening the outer V area and a little bit on the crease as well just keep patting and then grab another clean brush and blend the edges that's the best tip I could give you to blend eyeshadow but I might do a beginner's guide to blending eyeshadow maybe <laughs> um, then I also grabbed this really light cool tone silvery mauvey shade I don't know how it's a very unique color it's just not a silver it's something else as well but I just put that on the inner middle part of my mobile lid and then kind of in the center I'm blending also this really vibrant blue from the palette this blue is so vibrant and so pigmented this is using it without even wetting it but then afterwards this is where I started to wet it and you can see it's even more brighter so I'm just patting that into the two other colors on each side to kind of create a transition I also grabbed some black eyeshadow and popped that on the outer corner as well but I also did use some of the Rimmel Glam Eyes eyeliner and packed that on as well because I felt like the black was going on a bit patchy um, so I just used some of the Glam Eyes eyeliner on the outer V corner as well and then put some more black so it appeared a like a really true dark black and I'm also using the same eyeliner to do a wing look very dramatic wing when I was done with that I did curl my lashes as well using my number seven lash curler I do need a new one though <laughs> then here I'm using the body shop lash hero mascara I'm using the mascara side it does come with um, fibers on the other side but I just used the mascara because I knew I was gonna wear some lashes and the lashes I'm using are the Lorella London <laughs> lashes in goddess they're really dramatic and super pretty um, I think it's goddess but I will link it in the info box I did my other eye off camera and onto my face I'm using the makeup revolution oh my goodness makeup forever ultra HD liquid foundation in Y445 and just blending this all over my skin I did realize that the um, stick in Y445 is my color like it matches me better but the liquid for some reason is a bit darker and yeah it doesn't I don't know I just prefer overall the ultra HD stick foundation to the liquid one I don't think I'll be using this anymore but just wear with this look I would just suggest to wear your most favorite full coverage foundation but just to change things up I like to use different foundations in my tutorials but yeah that's how I feel about this liquid one I don't think I'll be using it again in the future um, and I do want to say though that my skin changes with time and foundations that I used to love may not work for me like a year later you know so just keep that in mind for yourselves as well that sometimes you'll love a foundation and then a year later you'll find that it doesn't suit your skin at all but anyways I am um, blending the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in those areas that I applied it and used the Ultra HD Contour Palette and I put the banana shade to set wherever I put the concealer and then I'm using this cooler tone brown to contour my skin and just give colour back to my face really I do kind of go off topic and forget about the tutorial um, but yeah after that I did also grab the Fenty Beauty Freestyle Duo Highlighter and I'm using the Moscow Mule one I'm going to be using the shade on the right and I'm going to use it like a blush slash highlighter because it is a bit pinky on me I can't use it just as a highlighter and it did go a bit blotchy on me so I had to use a cleaner brush to kind of soften it and it worked really nice actually and then I also used the same highlighter from Fenty Beauty but in the shade um, Hustler Baby and again the same shade on the right I'm gonna add that golden glow to my skin um, now to lips I'm using the Huda Beauty lip contour in Spice Girl and just define my lips and kind of added 
colour to the perimeter because I'm using a light nude shade and for the lipstick I'm using the Makeup Revolution Dance on the Floor lipstick in stiletto I think that's what it's called but again everything will be linked in the info box since I wanted the attention to be on the eyes I went with something quite nudey on the lips and then after that I used the um, brownie shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette along with the black shade on my lower lash line I also put some of that body shop mascara on my lower lashes I can't not I can't do a look without putting mascara on my lower lashes it just doesn't work for my face and it just doesn't look good so I always put mascara there and then I also use some of the hustler baby highlighter on my inner corners and finally I used the NYX dewy setting spray to set my makeup in place and that's the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if there's any other color combinations you want to see in a makeup look let me know in the comments give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye